from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, that is a short-lived pool season, but we do have a lot of hot weather coming up for this week. And because of that, I've rounded up the storm team and a lot of our meteorologists. And we're going to be out at Bob Mills Furniture this coming Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. If you want to come on out, we'd love to meet you. And, of course, it's air-conditioned at Bob Mills Furniture, so we look forward to seeing you, especially considering the fact that uh, it has been a very, very crazy, so really late spring and summer across the region. Well, right now, as far as today's high is concerned, it's pretty much normal. It will hit the century mark usually in July and into August, and that does happen. And unfortunately, that'll start to ooze this way as we go through the next couple of days. 95 is basically a normal high for this time of year. And the good news is we've had a south breeze. Still have that breeze blowing tonight, so there's air at least moving instead of just stifling, muggy, hot. Now, it has been hot, though. I mean, check out what's going on. Billings, Montana, 101. 116 in Phoenix, you say, well, that's a good place for it. Well, they've had this uh, to deal with for a month. They've had a heat wave, and that's not good for Phoenix to have a heat wave this time of year. And that hot air is going to continue to build back to the east. As far as Alaska, we thought this was interesting. Fairbanks hit 88 today. That's near record highs, 86 coming in at Ambler. And so that gives you a pretty good idea. Of course, they're maxing out on their summer season and it is fire season as well. So we still have that smoke going on across Canada. And some of that smoke even made it into a hazy sunset here in Oklahoma. So that's kind of interesting. The biggest problem right now is this heat dome. That's where all this heat is hanging out. We've had a northwesterly flow. So some of these storms will come up and around, go through Kansas or Nebraska and Kansas, and then hit us in Oklahoma. That is kind of shifting further east. So we're just barely going to get clipped. Uh, better chance are in Missouri. And most of the storm track is going to be way to the north. And overall, that heat dome is going to stick around through much of next week. There should be some moisture starting to get entrained in it later next week, which would give us an isolated storm or two. In the meantime, our focus is just on the dangerous heat and the heat advisory. So I know we're kind of getting adjusted to it, but you can't get adjusted to it when the humidity is high and the temperature is about 105 to 110, at least what it feels like on our bodies. Tonight, temperatures have fallen into the low to mid 80s, most of the state. Through the overnight, uh, fair to partly cloudy skies. Could be an isolated shower, mainly on the north and east sides of our area. Most of the state will be in the mid 70s. And then tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies will be in the upper 90s to 100s again. Unfortunately, that same story is coming up again for uh, early Wednesday morning. Again, an isolated shower possible in the northeast part of our area, but the odds are about 5 to 8%, maybe 10% coverage at most. We'll be near 80 in the morning on Wednesday, and then Wednesday afternoon, we'll see temperatures in the upper 90s to around 100. And Thursday, we haven't been able to change this because it's still upper 90s, low 100s. And these heat index values, as I was showing at the beginning of the newscast, around 103 to 108. So that's just a rough week for everybody, and it takes a toll. The only thing we have is over the next 10 days, ice isolated showers, but there's no big rains. So most of this is like a quarter inch of rain or so over the next 10 days. Uh, Panhandle might have a little bit more out around Guymon, but it's uh, slim pickings as far as what we're looking. In the last 14 days, we've had a pocket with not as much rain from Tulsa south and east. This time of year, you need rain every week, and if you don't get it, uh, you're in trouble. So we are looking for only a few isolated showers later next week as we look at the next 10 days. In the meantime, as we look at tomorrow morning, 77. Warm, and we'll call it humid, but there is a breeze blowing, so that's the good news as we get on into the noontime. 93 by afternoon will be around 100 or 99. Heat index is the most important thing in my world, and that's 107, because that's what I feel. And as we look forward to next week, or the end of this week into next week. I don't know if you want to say I'm looking forward to something. To 99. <laughs> something different. Uh, to 99. Yeah, we'll call it a cool. Yeah, be ready. Wow. Thanks, Charlie.